Suma Suma Tana Mara Gaya Muni Gaya Muni this bottle contains drops from a plant called Sananga. There are several different types, Uchu Sananga, Lobo Sananga, and others that are used by various tribes in the Amazon for various purposes. Legend has it that it was discovered by the Matsis tribe, who also brought us Combo, the toad venom for healing. Uh, they actually drink it as well as applying it in the eyes. And it is used in the same way by the Matsis that it is by the Quechua, where I originally learned about this plant, they use it to dissolve panema, which is like a lack of motivation, basically, uh, to dissolve blocks within your inner being. But originally it was just used for hunting because the uh, eyesight is supposedly improved for weeks or even months, possibly permanently. Um, it's not really psychoactive, but if you drink it, you will notice a little bit of a psychedelic effect because there's Ibogaine, which is used to treat uh, opiate addiction and um, Pain management, basically. Also as an aphrodisiac, the flowers, which are pinwheel, jasmine um, type, are used to make aphrodisiacs. Uh, and when the indigenous use it, they generally will take a leaf from the plant and put some kapok or sabo cotton inside and a few drops, you scrape the bark, boil it with water until it's extracted, and then place it in the kap kapok cotton and then drop it in the eyes. Um, and it does sting quite a bit. I'll apply some, you want to come and get close to that. Just one drop in the... Ah! Oh, oh man. Oh, that sucks. Ow! Ah. Yeah, had some... <laughs> Pretty unpleasant. Although the Matsis are not an ayahuasca using tribe, Sanaga has become very closely associated with ayahuasca and drops are placed in the eyes usually at the peak of an ayahuasca experience and it is tremendously powerful. Uh, I was actually shocked the first time that I used it. Um, really actually a pretty interesting story. My partner had said we should try to find some Sananga and later that night I was standing on by our back porch at the lodge we were renting and I looked beside me and there's these pin little jasmine and it turned out to be a Sanago bush. And so we collected it, scraped the roots, made it ourselves and I applied the drops to my eyes um, and it was a feeling of being completely cleansed and just like bathed with divine energy um, truly extraordinary and nearly indescribable and the visions uh, become crystal clear magnified I could see for what appeared to be thousands of miles up clip faces with eyes um, faces with eyes flames coming out and it really just felt like I had just been internally cleansed um, but then after that after the first time you generally don't experience it with that intensity again so definitely recommend to anyone to try it with ayahuasca at least once um, but whatever work is being done I think it is accomplished in that first application so let's get into the interview with Carlos <laughs> Existen, te digo, antiguamente vivía así, creyendo las naturalezas, y ellos le dio unas plantas medicinas que todos utilizamos, las creencias que había un antiguo matzés, estos son los para enfermedad de tal, estos son la para enfermedad de tal, entonces, y eso, creencia, creencia en su voluntad, no más se empezó a vivir confiando en la naturaleza, su medicina, utilizando, todos medicinas tienen espirituales de la selva, tenemos ahí, la creencia de como si fuera una chacra ahí están los 
los espíritus, tanto de los árboles que conocemos, tienen espíritu y, y ellos cuando se van a buscar medicinas, le guían, esto tiene que hacer, esto tiene que hacer. Tenemos creencias bastante buenas. Sí. ¿Cómo vida um, con esas plantas? Entonces, cuando nos vamos a, por ejemplo, si nos enfermamos, si se enferma un niño, se enferma algunos dolores de pierna, algunos dolor de cabeza, entonces puro los antiguos pidiendo espiritualmente se va indicando yo quiero esto para este dolor le piden para calmar ese dolor entonces el espíritu mismo le limpia se queda muchísimo mejor eso mientras se toma Medicina y se Algunas medicinas tomamos, por ejemplo, sananca se toma uh -huh. y esto no se hace bañar. Hay otras medicinas, en una olla grande, no tinaja, se chapea, con eso se baña. Uh -huh. se baña. Uh -huh. Hay medicinas que son buenas, en vista que en el Espíritu nos mismo nos guía, todas las medicinas que tenemos en la comunidad tienen Espíritu, nos guía todo, un, como si fuera que el campo también nos guía, ¿no? igualito, todas las medicinas de la, de la selva tenemos plantas medicinas que tienen madres, ¿Usan canciones para uh, comunicar con esos espíritus también? También se comunica, se canta, pero no se canta mucho, pero a veces canta también. Por ejemplo, se canta y, 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 mi vivo es que ocurrambo, y que, y, 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 Menú, y, 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 y. Se canta. ¿Su tribu vive tradicionalmente? Sí, sí, tradicionalmente. Uh -huh. Son más o menos, pero no, no luz, no. no, no luz. O sea, no, no hay bus, por ahí no hay. Uh -huh. Solamente tenemos caminos en la selva. Bastante plantas medicinas. Uh -huh. Así como ciudad, no hay ciudad. No hay ciudad, es una comunidad que bonito plantas medicinales de la selva. Sí. Solo, solo navegamos por río en bote, motor, peque peque, navegamos. No hay bus, no hay nada, no hay, no hay tampoco luz eléctrica que no hay. So, pero allá usan tal vez unos herramientas, machetes de... Sí, ahí utilizamos para, como si fuera luz, mm -hmm. tenemos chupibis, creo que tengo aquí, te puedo mostrar en mi celular si, si, si lo tengo. A ver, espérate. Oh, para... Para alumbrar, alumbrar, es son de copal, oh, de bueno. naturaleza. Si hacemos preparar para alumbrar en la noche. Es como no, velas casi. Así como vela. Um, algo sobre la, la sananga, como, para qué es usada y hay un espíritu que crece, que está dentro. Uh -huh. La sananga es una medicina casi igualito de cambo. Y... Los, la persona que siente no quiere trabajar tiene dolor de cabeza cuando camina mucha cansancia para evitar esto 
se utiliza esta medicina. Pero esta medicina, después de tomar, el espíritu mismo me hace guiar como caminar, ya no dolor, nada de quejas. Y esto, medicina, se toma cuando no mire la mujer. Solo hombre se va solito y le pide y sananga espíritu y yo tomo de este tu medicina estoy un poco mal de salud quiero que me cures entonces después de pedir todo esto se toma y después se camina a, a la selva Okay, um, let's see. Uh, so it's also prepared from the roots? Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. su, su resina es blanco. Mm -hmm. Blanco. Porque yo le he traído para esto. Son bonitos, bien preparados esto. Uh, para la vista también utiliza. Not bad. Whew. Actually, it burns just like it does in your eyes. So we're about 10 minutes in, and uh, I feel strange, a little, little bit high. The burning from the throat moves into the stomach. Um, not not terribly difficult, uh, but I did almost vomit right away. So that's where we're at so far. So experience report after the fact. Generally, it just made me feel quite ill. You could feel a fire moving through the blood. Uh, I guess where it's coming up and through the capillaries and coming into contact with nerves in the skin. It burns. It burns just as it burns when you put it in your eyes, when you swallow it. Um, made me feel pretty sick for a while. And, I, you know, I think over the next few days, maybe I felt a little bit more clear and energized. Um, it's difficult to say there was a lot going on. And this is the reason why usually when we do these things, we do them in the context of a dieta, so that we're prepared to receive the more subtle inputs from these plants. Also, I think I've used Sonago quite a lot as eye drops. So perhaps a lot of the... Um, work that comes from that had already been done um but it was it was interesting and i would say that i definitely felt a little bit rejuvenated afterwards so um please hit the like button share subscribe consider becoming a patron and if you'd like to attend one of our events shoot me an email cheers little, little, little.